This season, this won't be a bad afternoon to break his duck. And the ball now is in possession. It's a good ball forward. It's a really good ball forward to Mason O'Malley. Actually, that was played from Mitch Lund. Mason O'Malley now can he come forward? O'Malley goes on. O'Malley has a drive. Oh, it's a great effort! It's a goal for Park Avenue. That came out of absolutely nowhere. It's going to be a ball from the number ten of Wilson Town, Jordan Hallam. Hallam to play an out swinger. He goes relatively short. It's taken quickly. Oh, and in the end, it was absolutely scuffed in the end. The ball's not clear yet. It is now. Hallam, chance to play the ball back in. It's not a bad one, but Sachs can move. Fumbles for now. Shot in. Oh, it's an equaliser. And it's an equaliser, and it might well be good. as an error from Sachs. Uh, he was brought down nonetheless. And it still remains 1 1. And the ball's played over the top from Whiting now. Looking for Harrison Hopper. Will he get there? He will. He'll keep the ball alive, Hopper. Can he get it into the box? He takes it in now, plays it in, good ball. It's Henry Head and it's a goal! And Park Avenue retake the lead, and this time Will Longbottom does score a header. Plays the ball forward, and that's going to be headed away. It's going to be taken down as well by Harry Colville. Two assists for Colville on Monday evening. And here comes good runner Spencer now. Spencer goes forward. He finds O'Malley. Will O'Malley be back to shoot once again? He's played the ball forward this time for Doherty in the area. Doherty now plays it back. Chance. Oh, it's 3 1. And Park Avenue make it 3 1. It's Jamie Spencer with the goal. And it came out of nothing. Chances have been uh, few and far between other than that goal. And Park Avenue forward. Looked like they might score on every occasion, really. Mark be pleased with their clinicalness. Again, before the game, it was kind of a case of, uh, oh, here's Matt Kukov, as Lancaster has it now. Chance for him to shoot. He does shoot. Oh, was in the crossbar. And it will be headed in this time from Longbottom. And it's 4-1 to Bradford Park Avenue. It completely opened up for Lancaster. And uh, can he find a way past this wall? There's McLaughlin. Plays a low one, and it's a rebound, and it's there, and it's Max Kane. Now the ball is all the way back to Heathcote. Heathcote plays it out left flank. Bit of space for Duffy now. Duffy to bring it towards the box now for Macclesfield. Now Corrin just outside the box, onto his left foot, into the box now. Corrin, cross, good goal. And uh, not tight enough it's moment for Max Johnson. We have just under two minutes, and there will be plenty of added after this. Griffiths. Can he convert? It's 1-1. Griffiths to get FC the lead. Here he comes. And he scores! He sends the keeper the wrong way. It's a perfect penalty. Yeah. 